Hey guys, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy, where today I have something pretty cool to show you. This is 18K's USC, Universal Self-Loading Carbine. It is a uh, pistol caliber carbine, rifle, 16 inch barrel, chambered in 45 ACP. It's a pretty spectacular gun, pretty unique looking gun, uh, and insanely accurate. Just reads stock sights right out of the box. So, in case you don't know about the USC, this is ACK civilian version of their UMP, Universal Machine Pistol, uh, one of their military guns. So um, I say civilian version, it's not really the same at all, in that the UMP uh, is a pistol with a barrel that's just under 8 inches long, this one's 16 inches. Um, so also, the UMP comes with a folding stock, but because of the, I think it's the, um, the assault weapons ban of the 90s, plus German export laws, uh, we don't get the folding stock the UMP has, we get this skeletonized, kind of, again, unique looking stock with the thumb hole cut out here. Uh, it looks odd, it is very ergonomic, so it's easy to, easy to shoot, but um, big differences in that the barrel length is twice as long as the UMP, different stock altogether, and the biggest drawback probably is the magazine capacity. Again, this is a 45 ACP. Uh, the UMP, uh, again, is chambered, is chambered in 45, but it, it has a 30 round magazine capacity. This big and long extension here is single stack 45, only holds 10 rounds. So, uh, big differences in the UMP versus USC. USC has longer barrel, less capacity, and this odd looking stock. Uh, but again, don't get me wrong, that is uh, it's just an incredible gun. Most people buy these and have them sent to Tommy Bostick at Tommy Built have them converted to UMPs. Uh, so it's a pretty darn amazing process. I'll link to Tommy's site in the description, uh, but I'm not doing that to this guy. I'm keeping it just as is. Maybe down the road I'll buy another one to send to Tommy. Uh, but if you notice, it comes pretty basic. There's not a lot on here. Uh, there's a spot for a pick rail up top, which I'm going to add for an optic. Uh, but there's no rails on the side. Uh, pretty, pretty basic because most people send them off to Tommy and have them chopped up and, and re, re configured for the UMP. But again, great, great, great gun. To speak about the UMP for a second, it was originally slated to replace uh, ACK's famous MP5. Um, and it's kind of weird because it's not at all the same thing. Uh, the MP5 maybe wasn't catching on in America as much. America liked the big 45 ACP. So this is designed to replace the MP5. But the MP5 is all metal. This is polymer. Uh, and it had a roller delay blowback system, super soft shooting. This is a direct blowback system, not super soft. Uh, and it shot 9mm, where this shoots 45 ACP. So it was destined to replace it. It was supposed to replace it, but it was not at all the same thing because pulling the trigger on an MP5 with that super soft roll, you know, roller delay blowback, it's like getting a kiss on the cheek from a pretty girl. Pulling the trigger on the 45 with the direct blowback is like getting punched in the shoulder by your brother. It's not bad, but it's not the same thing at all. But again, it's still a really, really good gun. Turns out the MP5 is timeless and didn't get replaced. This guy just became kind of iconic and classic and somewhat collectible. These are produced in limited runs. They're not as hard to find as MP5s, uh, but they are not common. Um, so um, before I talk a lot about the details of the gun, let me show you the other really cool thing about the gun. And that is the bag HK gives you. So the gun is phenomenal. But it comes in this ridiculous pistol case, or this rifle case, that is enormous. And it has 8,000 pockets inside and outside with multiple compartments for all kinds of gear. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, the other thing you saw hit the floor, or heard hit the floor, was the magazine. So again, I mentioned this comes with a 10 round mag. There is a 20 round option that's a pro, pro mag that looks like this, again, super long. Um, now again, it is single stack as well, so um, pretty, pretty darn long, pretty odd looking. If you don't want to reload every 10 rounds, you can reload every 20 rounds. So um, to look at the gun, let me kind of start at the back and go forward. Um, so again, you have the skeletonized stock. You've got cutouts here for for uh, K like clip, K clip uh, uh, cord or um, slings potentially. Uh, of course, you got the red letters. Of course, you have that. Here is the uh, one of the few things I don't like about the gun. You can't just take it down without a tool. I think you have to have a five millimeter Allen wrench here to, to cut this guy down uh, on both sides. 
So it's not hard to take down. Pull this, pull these out. The uh, uh, back pulls off. The uh, uh, bottom section just ro rotates out, and you take a big coil spring out and the bolt, and you're done. So not a lot of parts. Uh, but so I got the scalp knife stuck back here. You've got the sights. Let's see if I can turn this. You've got the circle and circle sight for standard H and K. But you also have a notch sight, which is there. I'm not sure how close I can get to show you that, but notch sight and the circle sight. And the other thing that's kind of weird: the notch sight is protected by this this structure here. But if you flip up the circle sight, it stands above. So if you were to drop it, that could be problematic. So I thought that's interesting. Uh, again, the top is slotted for a pick rail, uh, which I am going to install with an optic. In front, you have H and K's. You know, circle, circle front sight. So pretty darn cool. Uh, you have the uh, ambidextrous safety. This side, that side. Two clicks, bang and no bang. Um, and then you also have bolt catch release here. Uh, my favorite thing about the gun, about any H and K rifle, is the charging handle. So love that. You can get the old H and K slap. Although I've caught myself with my own gun going, ah, you know, we'll just for it that way. Again, you have the bolt release here. Interesting, on the bolt on this side, there's also a little notch cut out there, which they say is designed if you need to do a forward assist on this side, you just put your finger there and push forward. So, don't know, I've had no issues on this. I will tell you, I saw a great video on the Military Arms Channel on this weapon, but they had a lot of trouble with it, and it's several years old. Uh, I think the magazines didn't have good retention. Uh, they wouldn't push, the springs were strong enough to push the, the ammunition through. Last, the bolt wouldn't hold up on the last on the last round. None of that on this thing. The magazines are phenomenal. Uh, it flat holds open the last round all the time. It is flawless. It has several hundred rounds to it already. Just, just a couple holes because you shoot the same hole over and over and over because it's so insanely accurate. Begin on the front. You have more more uh, sling clips up top, and this 16 inch barrel. My favorite thing is the thickness of this barrel. Look how thick that thing is. So uh, they're not messing around. Uh, the fact that this thing is, you know, the Germans, if they do anything, they'll overdo it. So this thing is really, really, really sturdy. Um, so all the things, again, phenomenal gun. Uh, if you ever get a chance to shoot one or get one, I would get it. Uh, it's somewhat collectible, but I'm going to shoot the heck out of it because it's so much fun to shoot. Um, if I think about things I don't like about the gun, there are two things I think of is the capacity kind of stinks. Uh, and I wish you could just have a push pin to take it apart because I do obsess over cleaning guns. So having to have a tool to kind of take the screws out, kind of a pain. It's not that big of a deal. But there's way more things that I love. I just love the fact that A, it's HK. So super cool, super quality, uh, phenomenal weapons they make. Um, I love the fact that, um, you know, it has the HK charging handle. Though I'm just for the wrong hand. I'm a left-handed shooter, and a lot of times I have to catch myself going over the top of the racket. Um, the trigger, I'm just about the trigger. The trigger is, in my mind, good. I've read mixed reviews about it, but you know, it's it's a little bit of a wall, and then oops, safety. Hard to see the safety on. Flip down, the bang, uh, and there you go. Look at the reset. Short reset, and bang again. So. I think the trigger is actually quite nice. So um, let's see what else do I just the barrel. Love how thick the barrel is and how accurate it is. Again, I even caught myself early on shooting the gun, wanted to flinch with kick back a little bit, and I still shot the exact same hole over and over and over. It's impossible not to shoot good with this weapon. Um, so again, uh, something my notes, anything else I've missed. Ultra reliable, love the HK, um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful. Very cool gun. Uh, maybe I'll do some long-term follow-ups with shots, uh, potentially. But I just want to share this with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you would, please like and subscribe. It would help a ton with the channel with the algorithms. So thanks.